I'll stick with my diesel. Folks, today's video on the Stony Ridge Farm, we're gonna let it rip. We're gonna talk about the politics of owning an electric tractor, and you guys need to share all your opinions. Let's have some fun, woo! Stony Ridge Farm. All right, folks, welcome back to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. If this is your first time here, your 50 millionth time, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't judge me on today's video. I wanna share some politics. I work very, very hard to bring you awesome content and new things that you've never seen before here on the Stony Ridge Farm, and I get ripped apart about this tractor. It's a Biden tractor, it's a this tractor. We'll talk about that in a second. Guys, today's video is brought to you by Stony Ridge Farmer Merch. We are selling Stony Ridge Farmer t-shirts. This is the tools, trucks, and freedom. I'm an Air Force veteran. I have a 150 acre first generation farm. We raise cattle here on this farm. It's an organic regenerative farm. It's all organic, as organic as I can make it, but I'm not playing the government game of getting certified and having government people walking all over my land. I don't want that. I'm not for government control. I'm not for government telling me every single thing I gotta do. Every piece of equipment that I own on the farm, I have to pay taxes on every single year. Do I own that equipment or does the government own it and I just rent it from them? I don't know, you tell me. We're gonna get into some politics and this is an electric tractor and it makes people mad. It really does. I get hateful, mean, and angry comments on this tractor all the time. I get called things like Democrat. I get called things like Biden supporter. I get called things like woke. I get called every single name in the book about this little electric tractor. And it's not an electric vehicle. It is an electric tool. It is a tool that gets the job done. So let me describe what we have here. This is a 25 horsepower select track electric tractor. It is an innovative design. To my knowledge, select track is the only 100% electric tractor company that's out there that's building this electric machine. Instead of an engine under the hood like the TYM 574, which is a fantastic diesel tractor, or right over here beside me, the TYM T1104, big old 110 horsepower tractor. It's got a big old diesel engine in, inside of it. Instead of having the diesel engine, this has a battery under the hood and two electric motors. Two motors that power the PTO, which drives implements on the back, and the hydraulic system and the drive system on this tractor. The battery lasts right around four hours. Here are some of the comments that I get. Well, try being way over on a mile away and then running out of battery on that thing. You can't do it. If you're smart, you won't do it. It takes no more intelligence or intellect to make sure you keep fuel in your diesel tractor than it does to keep charge on your electric tractor. This is not a row crop tractor. This tractor is designed for the homesteader, for the small property owner, for the guy that's doing the weekend warrior thing, for an orchard to tow a trailer, to move rock, to move gravel, to move dirt. That's what this is designed for, guys. I have taken this tractor and I've mowed pastures with it. Right on the back of it is a Tar River brush cutter right there. It's a five foot brush cutter. It's a 25 horsepower tractor and I'd put it against any other 25 horsepower tractor out there. It's heavier, it's beefier, it's stronger. The actual body part of this tractor, the uh, meat and potatoes part of this tractor is made by Farm Track, okay? So it's made by a tractor manufacturer with an electric motor and a battery system. Underneath the hood is the battery system. Am I comfortable plugging this tractor in and charging it in my shop? Absolutely. It plugs into 110 volt or 240 volt. On my farm, I have a solar charging setup for this tractor. So in other words, in the daytime, my solar battery bank is charging up in my shop. Does that solar battery bank come at a cost? Yes, the cost of that solar battery bank could be anywhere from 3,500 to 15,000 bucks, okay? This tractor costs about one third more than your standard 25 horsepower diesel tractor. Weight in a 25 horsepower tractor is super important. When you get a small frame 25 horsepower tractor, you're tipsy. This is not as tipsy as a small framed 25 horsepower tractor. 
It cost more, it cost about a third more. I think the MSRP, and don't quote me on this, I'll post a link to the SelectTrack website, but I do believe the MSRP on this starts at around 29,000 and can go up to about 35,000. I had a buddy just post a video about it. He used it, he'd play with it, he tried it, and he said it cost 80 to $90,000. It's ridiculous. It doesn't cost 80 to $90,000. So now that we've worked through the fact that this is a heavier and larger framed tractor than your typical small frame 25 horsepower tractor, Tractor. It's not a row crop tractor. This is not a machine that a guy buys that depends on this tractor to earn himself a living. You might buy this machine to go do a little bush hog job or something like that for a neighbor. You may be, may be working by the hour. You may be moving some rock, moving some gravel, scraping some driveways. And I do this stuff for my neighbors. I enjoy it. I love it. I love tractors. I love machinery. I love diesel. I love gas. I love America. <laughs> Again, I'm a veteran guys. I want you to share why this is such a political decision for everyone and why I get hammered so hard on owning an electric tractor like this. So on the top of the electric tractor there's an electric fan so look out that's probably some sort of a <laughs> Democrat electric fan. It's not <laughs> it's an electric fan that runs off the battery system of this machine and blows down cool air. It's called Cool Tops. I'll post a link to that in the video description. I'll also post a link to the Select Track tractor in the video description. There's a plug on the top of it. You simply pull up at the end of your day and plug it in. If you're running this machine all day long on your tractor, not running the PTO all the time, but just using the bucket, moving material around the farm, moving dirt, moving compost, loading up rocks, doing that kind of stuff, it'll last for days and days, guys. It'll only last at full blast for about four hours. When it gets down to 10%, it goes into limp mode, which is about, I don't know, a quarter of the amount of power that it typically has, and you drive it home and you plug it in overnight, and then you can take it right back out the next day and work it. This is not a tractor that a row crop farmer is going to till 1,000 acres with, and I don't understand why I get comments about that. Man, I can't run it 24 hours a day straight. What kind of an idiot would run a 25 horsepower tractor for 24 hours straight? You need a bigger tractor, man. I want you to look at this real quick right here. This is my cell phone. My cell phone has a lithium battery in it. That has battery technology in it. Your watch has a lithium battery in it, most likely. If you have an Apple watch or a smart watch or any kind of watch that has a battery in it, a digital Casio, whatever, it has a little lithium battery in it. The button that you push to open your garage door opener has a lithium battery in it. That has a battery in it. That has a battery in it. That truck has a battery in it. That car has a battery in it. This has a battery in it. And the Band-Aid Trans Am does not have a battery in it. It doesn't even have an engine. So so guys, what, what's the hate on the battery? Wow, the battery technology costs so much and does, you know, it doesn't matter what it costs. There's manufacturing costs associated with building every single piece of machinery and or equipment, truck, tractor, everything on the farm. There is manufacturing costs associated with making this metal right here and the paint that's on that metal and those doors right there and how those doors are formed and the paint that's on those doors. There's manufacturing costs associated with the concrete that's right here on the farm. So I don't understand how this is a political situation. If the concrete was mixed up with a battery powered electric concrete mixer, would that be a political decision? Let me know. Let me know. Please let me know, guys. I will tell you one thing for sure. I believe in America. I also am not turning a blind eye to technology. Nearly all major manufacturers of farm equipment are making an electric and or battery powered version of their machines. Is this feasible currently for gigantic three, four, five, six, seven hundred horsepower tractors? Currently, battery technology is not there. It's simply not there. It's in your pocket though. What's more likely to be recycled? The battery that's in your cell phone right here, the battery that's in a cordless drill, 
or the large battery that's in this tractor right here. People say, well, what's that battery cost to replace? If you buy this little tractor right here, you're buying a lifetime purchase. Once you have worn out the usable shelf life of this battery, and I have literally DeWalt batteries that I have had for almost 20 years, and they're still working, okay? So if you're running battery technology and you're going to take this and you'll have it recycled and or renewed and replace the battery and put a new battery in it, I think currently the cost is somewhere around three to $5,000 to replace the battery system in this tractor. I want you to ask yourself again, why is this a political decision? Post those comments, hammer me, man. I'm not going to censor any comment here unless you use horrible foul language. This tractor right here will run as long as that tractor right there or the 110 horsepower tractor. This is a diesel engine in my truck over here. It will run just as long as a diesel engine needs to run. Think about this. A motor has many, many thousands of less moving parts than a tractor. The first automobiles that were brought out were electric. Where's the money? Follow the money to the oil rig. Folks, electric technology has been used in warehouses, mines, orchards, and greenhouses, and many multiple other faceted businesses and or industrial applications for decades. Just because this is the first time you've seen an electric tractor on a small piece of property doesn't mean that it somehow fits the political agenda of the current administration that we are living in, guys. Just because you watch or see and or hear about some of the horrible atrocities that go on in a mine that mines some of the raw materials for making batteries doesn't mean that every single battery manufacturer is patronizing those places that are doing those horrible atrocities. Look at the diamond industry. Look at the gold industry. Every woman who's married has a diamond ring on her finger. But nobody's talking about that because it's not majorly politicized out in the mainstream media. So the mainstream media is telling you EVs are bad, they're horrible for the environment, there's no way we can sustain this. Well, I'm sustaining it with a solar system, so it's not affecting the grid at all. I don't know why anybody can't do that. It costs a little bit more to do that, but I don't know why everyone can't do that. This is not a row crop tractor. We're not planting a thousand acres of soybeans. This is not going to pull a hay baler. We're going to stack hay. We're going to feed the cows with it. We're going to get up rocks with it. We're going to take care of the garden. We're going to do some small tilling projects. We're going to pull a uh, seed drill. We're going to do small mowing projects. That's what this is. It's a homesteader tractor. It's a weekend warrior tractor. It's a battery powered machine. And I don't understand why this is such a political decision. I'll stick with my diesel. I get it, I get it. That's a whole lot more machine than this machine right here, but you put a comparable 25 horsepower yard tractor, homestead tractor right beside this thing and this thing will just about run circles around it, but it only runs for four hours. That's a deal breaker for me. I mow for 17 hours. You need a bigger tractor, bro, or lady. <laughs> you need a bigger tractor. If you're out here mowing for 17 hours straight on a 25 horsepower tractor with a five foot cutter, you need a bigger tractor. Am I wrong? Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know what you think. This is not an EV, it's an ET, it's an electric tool. But I bet if you work in a warehouse and you go in there and you hop on an electric forklift, you don't think about politics. So why would you think about politics when you hop on an electric tractor to knock out a few chores around your property. That's it, I'm not selling it. Again, this is called the Select Track Electric Tractor. I admire them, I admire their company, I admire the ambition that it takes to stick your nose out there and try and serve a population with some new technology. This is the start of new technology. It works. You can work it on your property and right there's a big old sticker that says made in the USA. That's it guys. Thank you all so much. Share your comments. Let her rip. Please don't be destructive. Just share your comments. I'll stick with my diesel. 
That's cool, that's cool. I got diesel over here and I'm not getting rid of it. I'm not getting rid of this big old tractor right here and that big old woods bat wing. I'm not getting rid of it. That little tractor won't pull that bat wing. That little tractor will mow that little guy in little tight places that we need to get. This little tractor will move gravel. This little tractor will move dirt in the garden. This little tractor will go out in the field. We'll have a bucket on the front of it. When you get off of it, it turns off. It's not pulling any power. And we drive over and we dump that in some washes here on the farm. This little tractor, and you'll get some footage in the end here, works. It does work. Guys, let me know. Share what you think. Tell me what you think. This is an open forum for discussion about an electric tool that I'm using here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I don't care if you buy it. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just showing it to you and I'm not here to bash it. I'm here to learn. I'm here to grow and I'm here to experiment with new technology and share it with you guys. Hit that like button guys. Subscribe to the Stony Ridge Farm channel. I'd love to have you back here. We're on 150 acre first generation farm. I'm an Air Force veteran. This is my dream. Pick up a t-shirt if you want to. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. I'm not shoving this down your throat. I want you to share your opinions. Please share them with me. See you guys. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed the little video. Great little rant. Take care. All right. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your